Well, Daisy. Oh, you had your little calf this morning. Well, congratulations. What did you have? Oh, girl. You had a heifer. Well, good Monday morning, everyone. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel. My channel today, today is obviously Monday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. So, anyways, I hope all you are doing great. I'm doing pretty good. And it is a little bit of a cold and blustery Monday morning. But anyways, um, what are we up to here right now? What have we been doing? Well, we are getting ready to load out some of our, of our organic soybeans that we combined last fall. And uh, obviously we've got some beans stored in this one. I think there's about two semi loads in here. And then we got another bin on the other side of the machine shed there. And we got some beans over there, about two semi loads over there. So anyways, yeah, we just got this all set up. And you just saw too, we had a newborn calf. That was just born this morning. So we got the calf out of the cold down in the barn where it's going to be warm. And so we'll have to get the cow in here and get that milk here shortly but anyways uh yeah so that's what one of the things we're gonna do here today and it has been a while since i have done any videos actually this is the first time i have picked up the camera to record a video in about two months and why haven't i recorded very much stuff well for one thing there hasn't been a lot of stuff going on the other thing is it has been pretty cold it has been a colder than normal winter and the camera camera batteries and the cold don't get along very well and it's just it's a struggle to keep the camera going out in the cold when it's like that so but yeah so we had uh, we got all done combining the last of the corn um, back here on this farm we had some wet ground and that was, I think it was January 10th I can't remember but it was the beginning of January and any video footage that I have of stuff that we've done in the meantime um, I will post it after this segment and then we'll go from there but what else has happened well um we got a load of straw here last week and we got a load of hay here just a couple days ago we were short on straw because we had the drought last year and we didn't quite have enough hay because we didn't get a fourth cutting hay so yes yeah, so we had to buy some hay and we had an unforeseen thing happen with our skid loader um back in january i was gonna go out and push some snow with it and the uh what happened the engine locked up why did the engine lock up well because we forgot to check the engine oil on it yes we ran it all out of engine oil yeah, it's kind of an embarrassing thing but um that was back in january they got the skid loader it's not all the way done yet they got the new engine in it and everything because they had to put a new engine in and uh they should be bringing it back here maybe this week but we had a as long as they had it at the dealership we thought we'd have them look at a couple other things on there as long as it was there so anyways um i guess we're gonna go do some other things well actually we still gotta milk the cows here yet and uh go do that and well we're gonna have plenty of stuff to do here while we wait till the trucker come but I'm sure he's probably going to be here about 1 o'clock, 2-ish this afternoon. So, anyways, um, that's what the deal is. So we're going to load out some beans and hope everything goes good. Okay, everyone. We're out trying to combine this whole very last of this corn that we have. Today is January 3rd, Monday, January 3rd, 2022. And, um, yeah, we're giving it a go here. And, uh yeah so that's what we're doing on this january day and so far everything's holding up nothing's i haven't uh broke through any frost so i think we got plenty of frost here we had a couple of very cold days well below zero so should be 
good. Last year's corn. It's like the, it's like the soybean meal. Soybean meal is here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, not that you probably noticed, but <laughs> I am back. I'm back. Actually, um, I, when I got done unloading that soybean meal, I had to go back into the barn and we had to finish, we had to milk that, that fresh cow, that calf this morning. And anyway, so now I'm on to another job because we're still waiting for the trucker to come. And he actually was supposed to be here at 9.30 this morning and I forgot to mention that. I think he started out in the road this morning and his head gasket blown up, blew out in the semi, so he's got two other semis. I'm guessing he probably had to go back and, and just dealing with the whole thing he got behind, so he um, supposed to be here around 3 o'clock. It's a little bit after 2.30 right now, so why I'm waiting, I'm going to move this feed bunk because it just needs to get moved to a better spot, so i got to do something while I'm waiting. Well, not that I don't have anything to do but this has got to be done anyways. Oh, look Caps, your feet bunk is getting moved. How about that? Okay, I just got the 40 to 40 started up, so that way it's warm enough. Uh, we, we plugged it in after we got everything set up this morning, so that it would keep the engine somewhat warm but yeah so anyways now we just play the waiting game well it's about 10 above uh, so anyways I just want to check the temperature there but I got to get this tractor warming up here because the truck is not here and I need I'm gonna start at the feeding chores but anyways the reason why I was checking the temperature is because um, we noticed this winter when it started getting below zero we had problems with the, the the augers in here the twin screws in there they went turn they would bind and then you'd shear your pins in the back in here on the fixer wagon so yeah we found out when it gets below zero i don't there's like a little like on the bottom of the floor in there the bottom of the auger and the floor there's like a gap about that much and uh, when you get like a little bit of you know, obviously it's always empty we emptied it out when we get done at the end of the day but when there's just a little bit of build up on there when moisture gets colder it expands more the colder it gets the more it expands those augers will wedge tight so we just have to take the heater here and we just stick that underneath here and run it for a while about 20 minutes to get the pan warm do that and it's just fine so um yeah so I know we never talked to Meyer about it. I don't know if anybody else out there has a Meyer mixer wagon that has that problem when it gets below zero. You know, it could be two degrees above zero and it's fine. It could be two degrees below zero Fahrenheit and it will shear the pins. So that's why I checked the temperature. So enough yakking, let's see if we get this thing started. Trucker's finally arrived. It's I think it's like almost 3:30, so he's about a half hour late, but at least he's here. So let's see if we could we could get everything lined up just right and nobody has any problems. I'm hoping I'm not making him nervous because I'm putting him on camera, but
Oh, we got in here. Oh, yeah, I was gonna get it lined up with the auger and then we'll be, uh, we could start unloading. Then I could go back to my feeding chores. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, got the first truck loaded up, so I don't know if, he's, if they're gonna come back tomorrow and get another one or not. I don't know because at the plant they do, it was some, there's only a certain number of days they do a run on like like soybeans, and one day maybe it'll be lentils, and then one day maybe it'll be black beans. So they kind of have, I don't know, I don't know what the trucker told my brother, so I haven't talked to my brother yet since we got done with that thing, so, um, so I'll ask him and find out and I'll let you guys know but anyways uh, I'm getting back to the feeding chores here I just had to start the tractor up to get get it back warming up again because it's kind of cold out while it's waiting I'm filling up another <clears throat> another propane cylinder here and um, so I'm just waiting for this to fill up and it's got the scale here weighing it out to make sure that I don't overfill it and uh, make sure I do everything properly with filling that thing up so yeah. So, as soon as that game, the tank gets, the 20 pound tank gets full, I'm gonna go back to the feeding chores. My brother went to go clean the barn. And, uh, well, you can, you can tell it's starting to stay daylight out a little bit longer every day now. So, I like that. I don't like it when it gets dark so early. I just hate that. Well, good morning everyone. It is day two of this video and huh, the wind is blowing pretty good out of the south today. Is I don't know if you see the weather vane up there indicates. Yeah, that's basically what it's been doing lately. It just like it blows out of the south and then by evening, late evening, it's black blowing out of the north and the temperatures drop dramatically. <laughs> That's the way it's been for the last few weeks. Warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. But anyways, what's going on here today? <clears throat> well, um, the trucker, he's supposed to come back. That same guy that came yesterday, he's supposed to come back and get another load around noontime. So that's at least what he planned on. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, hopefully that's probably all we're going to get out is one more load today. And obviously we got, after we get this load out, it'll have another two loads. So I don't know if, if they're gonna come back tomorrow yet or not. It just depends on how many runs they do at the processing plant. So we'll see what happens. And and I gotta get back or get to doing my morning chores and uh, we'll see how the day goes.
Okay, everyone, as you could see, um, uh, we got the uh, auger moved over there to the other bin. And um, the other the hopper bottom bin, that's on the other side of that shed over there, is all empty. So, um, my brother, he's just up there, just up there checking to see how much is in there. So, so yeah, sorry I didn't get any footage of loading that semi, but I was milking the cows while my brother was taking care of loading up the trucker. So, and if you could see it in the time lapse, well, you can't see the truck, you can barely see the truck go by in the time lapse, but anyways, I'm gonna get it going here with the feeding and I forgot to mention too we also have another trucker coming today to get a, one of our call cow that we got a call cow we got to get rid of so anyways he'll be coming around four o'clock ish so I'm gonna get the stuff warming up and then yeah we'll get going with that Okay, I guess we decided we're going to let the milk cows out of the barn today because it, it warmed up more than I thought it was going to warm up today. So we've been trying to let the cows out of the barn whenever we can, whenever we get a, a fairly decent day so they can go do that. Get out, run around and get some exercise, lick themselves off. And then, yeah, so... <clears throat> I don't think the trucker is gonna make it back here today. He'll probably just get the he might he might get it to the to the place in time to get unloaded. I don't know. I know this morning he brought it to the plant right away. And got unloaded around eight o'clock ish or so. So anyways, we gotta put some more stuff on the mixer wagon. We just got some stuff left over in the barn that we're going to put on here and then uh, go feed the cows and let them out and they can run around for a little while and have some fun. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of this video. And uh, what are we, what's going on here today? Well, you just saw earlier, I was breaking the ice for the bread halfers there. We were gonna let the cows out last night. We were thinking about doing it, so we ran some water in their, in their water tank. Normally, they go over to the cows, water fountain, get water out when um, we let them in there to get water in there, because when, the, when we leave the cows in the barn, but, uh, yeah, so I had to bust the ice for him so he could drink that up and had to get that plugged in because the wind switched to back out of the north. I don't know if you can see that weather vane up there. It's pointing on the north. It was out of the south yesterday, so I have a hunch that by this evening the wind will be blowing back out of the south again only to warm up and then switch back and blow out of the north again tomorrow evening that's way it's like I said I mentioned that earlier in the video it's it's been like back and forth warm cold warm cold warm cold but yeah so as far as loading out more soybeans here today I don't know if the trucker is gonna come and depend on what his boss wanted him to do so I kind of doubt he's gonna come today 
Um, I haven't heard anything. He usually calls my brother, so I, I haven't talked to my brother yet, so I don't know. But if he does come, I guess I'll let you know. But anyways, I gotta go check on the water fountain over here because we've been having trouble with the cow's water fountain over here freezing up. The heat tape in there isn't working, or it wasn't working like it should have. I hope I got it working. It looks like there's still water in there, so I had this set up here yesterday because I had to uh, heat it up. So it looks like it's still working, so I must have got the heat tape working. So anyways, I gotta go and do some chores and then we'll see if the uh, trucker shows up. Okay, we're gonna we gotta cut some tree branches down here because these tree branches are in the way. We're kind of in the way for the trucker, and we don't want the trucker to rip a tarp or something here. So we gotta cut some tree branches down here quick. Tried to, anyways. There goes the next trucker, third load. Okay, uh, well, I decided we're gonna let the cows out of the barn here again. But I gotta put a little bit more haylage on the mixer wagon and then mix it in. The cows have plenty of stuff to eat. So, yeah. One thing that we have noticed since we got this mixer wagon is that the cows, their feed intake has increased. So they're actually eating more food than what they used to, used to eat. So that's a good thing. And we've had more consistent, our butter fat and our protein has been higher and more consistent. Yeah, that mixer wagon is definitely paying for itself. I don't know what the weather's gonna do here. It's like we've been getting snow flurries on and off here today. So, just kind of some puffy looking clouds. <laughs> so, yeah, but <clears throat> I'm just glad at least we got all the soybeans moved off that we got moved, so. Killing two birds with one stone here. I'm mixing up, you can see the PTO turner down there, yep. I'm mixing up batch of feed for the young stock and for the dry cows. And fueling up the tractor at the same time because it is getting down there. Yeah, so that's how I like to do things. Kill two birds with one stone. Or get two jobs done at the same time. Okay, well, I just got, as you can see, I am just mixing up a batch of feed for the milk cows, and while that's mixing, I think it's a good time to end this video because there isn't much else that's gonna happen, like, <laughs> the rest of the day anyway, so. Yeah, and I know a lot of you are wondering too about the 4020. Not much progress has happened with it. Um, just nothing it's been too cold to work in here and and I had a little bird problem in here I've had birds 
that were crapping in here, making a mess. That's a bunch of bird crap I cleaned up. Swept up off the floor in here. And I had to take um, some netting and put over the windows to keep the birds out of here because I can't close it up in here because I gotta have ventilation for the calves. Otherwise they'll get sick. So that's what I did with some of the windows. I put ventilation, or not ventilation, I put uh, netting over the windows, so. Yeah, so it just been too cold to work in here, so. Um, I still have, what else do I have to do to this thing? Yeah, I gotta figure out why this thing was getting ironed in the oil. And a lot of people have suspected, well I got the oil pump over here. I got it covered up. But some people think I should just take the oil pump apart. Check it out, see what's wrong. But, uh, yeah. So I do need to get back to this thing when it warms up. Hopefully, I'll get I'll get back to it and get working on it, and hopefully uh, we'll get her done. But yeah, and I still got to take out. I got the throw out bearing out. I did that one time, a long time. Well, birds even they just crapped everywhere. They even got in here and flew around and crap. And I thought that's it. That's enough. I'm tired of those birds crapping. But yeah. So, uh, I guess other than that, I just, I gotta do a little more cleaning on the block. Yeah, just do a little more, more cleaning there, not much, and I'll be done. And, um, that's about it. So, anyways, and I think, I don't know if that, if the, the trucker's gonna come back again tomorrow. We got probably, I don't know what it is, 12 maybe the 12 to 1500 bushels of soybeans left so there'll probably be a, another full semi and then maybe a half of another one and uh yeah so and still no word if the skid loader is done yet either and yeah so. i guess that's all i got so i just want to thank everybody for watching and if you really want to see i know i've been behind in my videos um, right now I'm in the midst too of kind of I got to work on my federal income tax get that done with get that out of the way because we got to have that I got to have it all filed by the end of March or end of February so so I got to see how much money I owe the Federal Reserve or the international bankers because that's the Federal Reserve is not part of the federal government it's owned by a group of international bankers that's who we got to pay our taxes to if we pay taxes the IRS is the collection agency for the Federal Reserve it's true you can look it up that's true <laughs> but anyways yes i'm working on that and uh, but if you really want to know what all the tidbits and everything going on around here please go check me out on instagram i post a lot of stories almost every day so if you're going to find out what goes on here every day the little behind the scenes stuff if you go on my instagram account and watch my stories on there so anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to obviously check me out like i said on instagram twitter gab telegram and i'm also on rumble i have a rumble channel so you can watch us on rumble if you want and um don't forget to give video a thumbs up so have a good evening take care and i'll see you in the next video